here's, here's one of the ways we work on just adjustability in the swing without, without really trying to get into motion, rhythm, and timing. We kind of let him get situated and, and get going and then work on the adjustability. What, what you'll find at a higher level um, is the ball is going gonna, is gonna to move you know, as late as possible. I mean, it's going to be still doing things. So your body's going to still be in an adjustment mode. Your front leg's going to have to be an adjuster. Your spine is, is non, you, it's, you can't compromise your spine. So the only thing you get to do is sink into the ground. So you're going to have to use your legs to make sure you buy some time. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but you just can't you lose your spine. So what we'll do is I'm just going to kind of give you an idea is we, we may start it on the outer half so he starts moving and then we, we may make it move a little bit to the inside or we may, we may pull it like a change up so he has to kind of you know, organize his legs to make sure he stays on plane and doesn't roll that ball over. So we're just going to let him go and we just kind of play with this a little bit and we just pull it away, let him move and then see how well he adjusts to hitting. Good. All right. Let's, let's grab another one. All right, so there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can start it. You know, you can start it on the outer half, and then you can just start pulling it in. Good. We can start it in like a curveball or a slider, and we can start moving it out. So that one he, caught, he got around. Do you feel it? So this is a good one because you know this is one you're going to see more more than any is is that front shoulder you know trying to fly open to create some space to get to the inner half and we really have to understand and identify how the thoracic and the lumbar kind of work on their own so the first thing that we have to do is this right we got to we got to make sure we're finding the pitch height to get to that pitch plane so we're trying to work through it so we can't just see a ball in and start spinning open we have to kind of hold our ground find it and then we can hit so this can't leak and this is just a good way to kind of challenge that let's do another one we'll start it in and we'll just kind of move it away I may move it a lot may move it a little good hard isn't it <laughs> it's a tough drill and uh, when it's in motion it's just a really good thing to really test you know, Bryce makes it look easy, but it's a, it's a very difficult drill to do.